I needed to pull you guys out because we have another VX that just showed up at the shop. Uh, customer states that the re the ski is locked in reverse. I'm checking out the bucket. It's up all the way. It's not stuck in reverse. I went to start it and it's locked up. So this is going to lead us into two directions. Either the motor's hydrolocked or the jet unit has something stuck in it causing it to lock up. So we're going to go check that out uh, and then figure what our next step is going to be. So let's go do that. And that's what a jet unit or a motor that's locked up sounds like or looks like uh, when you're trying to diagnose. Um, now we're going to move forward. We're going to start checking the engine out. It's the easiest to get to. And then we're going to move to the jet unit if that's not the case. Alright, so you guys just saw that I removed the plugs and let's get out of the sun. I just removed the plugs and cranked it over and you could see that it was still locked up. So we all know that the motor is, itself is not the issue. The issue is going to be at the jet unit. So now we're going to put the motor, the spark plugs back into the motor, set that back up so that way we don't forget about it. You don't want to forget about it. Uh, and then we're going to remove the jet unit. All right, so let's get a, some shots of that. I just got all wet because of that. <laughs> It's all over my freaking legs, man. All over it. Now that we got the jet unit out, let's try starting it and see what happens. So it starts right up. We have a check engine light. Uh, we're going to hook the computer up to that right now. We'll see what that's about. Alright, so I just got the jet unit on the vise and took the housing apart. The impeller was seized to the wear ring and I'm going to show you. So this is the housing with the wear ring and you can see these dark spots. This is where the wear ring is swelling. You can see the impeller got kind of fused to this area here with another high spot right here. And that's what locked it up. Those high spots in your wear ring are going to swell up around the impeller and it's going to lock everything up. And you either got to replace the wear ring or grind down those high spots all right uh if you're doing it at home just grind down those high spots you'll save yourself a ton of money uh this is diy for the guys at home we're not actually going to keep this in the ski we're actually going to switch out the wear rings we're going to press this one out and then switch it out but uh for you guys at home this is what I would do instead of spending hundreds of dollars trying to fix it. I mean, you could just replace the part, which is what we're going to do ultimately. But I'm going to show you how to grind these out.
so that way you could keep using the same part. Alright guys, so you just saw me grind all the high spots on this. We're going to put the impeller back inside. That Well, we're going to reattach the wear ring housing to the rest of the jet unit. And then we'll see if we could spin the impeller. Alright, before we took it apart, it was completely seized. You saw all the rust marks. Uh, we just grounded down all the high spots, so we're going to reattach it, and we'll see if it spins. And that way, you can see what you can do without having to bring your ski to the shop, especially if you're a guy that likes to work on his own stuff. This is going to save you money and time. Alright, so we're going to make some marks where the high spots are still. We'll grind it out, and then we'll try again. Alright, so we just grounded down the rest of it. I got uh, I cleaned up the sealant off the, the mating areas. Uh, let's give it a spin and see where we're at. That's what you want, guys. If you hear, like, little nicks, uh, as long as it spins, once you get it back installed, the motor will kind of do the rest for you. But that's what you want. Uh, and then it's ready to be used. Uh, roughly about an hour and a half to two and a half hours if you do it yourself. If you've never done it before, it'll probably take you half a day. Uh, but other than that, it'll keep you on the water. It won't ruin your weekend, guys. So now that that's done, let's get it back on the ski and we'll run it on the hose, all right? <laughs> all right, so now that you saw it run, the next step that we have to do in order to finish this job is winterize and wrap that I'll catch on film, but we're just gonna blow right through it. I will put the video at the end screen for you to watch if you wanna winterize your ski correctly. Thank <laughs> you. 